All right, guys, here we go. Day six of zero pay to win challenge. So let's see. Yep, day six, because I haven't played I haven't played in two days, as you probably know. The reason why I, I couldn't play, uh, because those previous, the last two days, I was the, first of all, I was building my new PC. Second of all, I have to reinstall everything on my new PC. I have to set up everything like as it was before on my, the old one, which is the laptop. So here we go. Anyway, we're just gonna be right here. And what I actually decided to do, we're just gonna go straight to the Thanatos ships, become a junior god. So let's just jump to the Thanatos ship. And yeah, so what I'm gonna do with this, I'm just gonna skip regular fights with regular mobs, and I will just stick with bosses. Um, I don't think there will be anything like the story-wise, but if you do have some kind of a story, definitely it's gonna be up to you. I'm not gonna spoil anything, probably just the last scene. All right, so it looks like we are approaching to the next, the, to the first boss, actually. What's his name? Mortius. So that boss is very simple. There is not much of a mechanics. Uh, on just, just avoid a few attacks here and there, but that's pretty much all what you need to do. All right, so the first boss, Mortius, Gatekeeper of Death. Let's see, 20 bars, 247k, so 247,000 points of health. Yeah, man, let's just, let's just go. There is nothing to wait. He definitely gonna stand, I believe, just on, well, no, he does move. I forgot. So he does move, but there is not much he deals. There is certain few attacks, but like this explosion, uh, but you do, if you do have the right symbols on you, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, if you have a also Groove Walker, plus there's a bunch of healing orbs, you can heal yourself as well. Uh, so we'll already like drop him to 37%. And he only did that one explosion. Well, he's casting right now something else, which didn't do much to me. So again, if you're playing a Groove Walker, you don't have to worry about anything, about anything. Plus the right symbols definitely help out. And also as a Groove Walker, don't forget to spawn these flowers. Definitely extra damage. You can also buff them. Go your fighter form. And it's dead. Alright, so here we go. Defeat Thanatos' avatar. And this is the Lariator. So it's a corrupted former alien god. So, well, he corrupted by Reaper's uh, freaking magic. Whatever it is. Uh, but yeah, this is the boss. Technically, it's the last boss. The only one thing that this boss has two stages. So this is the first stage. And then the second stage when we're going to drop this stage to the lower bars. So he, the only thing you need to pretty much avoid is just certain attack. This, this attack that he does is just simply nothing. Uh, I would definitely recommend killing his adds. Because you don't want them. But this one you have to also avoid. Dash from that circle. And that's it. This attack that he's pushing you away, it's just annoying. Oh, this one you have to just space, spam space really good. You knock him down. When he knocked down, he actually gets a lot more damage. Oh, well, when he does that, it just slows you down, which is also annoying. But damage is completely terrible. So we almost drop him. Two bars left. And again, break free, spam space, just really quick. Spam it, spam it, push him away. And come on, g give me my ultimate. We should. Ah, oh, we almost done. We almost did it. Did we do it now? Oh no, he jumped. What an ass! And just avoid the attack. Go back and then just let's kill him. So this is the first stage, and this is gonna be the next stage, but it's gonna be a pretty cool scene when he's gonna get transformed to a crazy, crazy big guy. So this stage, this one is a stage that most. People have no idea what to do. And looks like while I'm standing, he doesn't do anything. So pretty simple. Just follow. You can see the Thanatos' ship quest, right? It says strike the sparks out of the hand of the death and collect them. So you need three little sparks to collect it from the hand. Don't look at the blue. It's an optional quest. Like prevent Thanatos' avatar from collecting a single spark. If you will collect all three, so you shouldn't have to worry about it. 
and then lead the monsters into the ray. Don't do that as well. Lead the monsters under the hand of the death. Also, you don't have to do that. So the only thing you have to focus, it's then a white text. Strike the sparks out of the hand of the death three times. Pick it up. That's all you need to do. All right, let's just move and then let's start the fight. So it's pretty simple. You usually don't do anything for now. When you he's charging like that, just move around like this. Don't do anything. Just move around the laser on the edges of the arena. That way you will have more space to run when it's going to be a little bit further stages. So just stand right here. Wait again. He usually does that three times, I believe. So just simply like that, you know. Uh, it, it definitely a little bit crazier if you do an actual avatar. It's pretty much the same mechanics, just a little bit harder. This is the hand. Avoid it. Knock it. Boom. Just with one pain shot. And then sparks drops. It shows you where it drops. And you just simply go there right away and try to pick it up real quick. Push E. You don't have to actually be there next to the spark. As long as the E pops for you to pick it up, you should be golden. And just wait for the next one. To deal with ads, just simply stun them and just keep running from the laser. So tr do not try to kill the ads. I mean, if you wanted to, you can. But I wouldn't recommend because you may screw up the laser, fall down, die, and you have to start over again. So while you have time, you may actually kill it. If you see you don't have time, don't do it. Just avoid the laser. And that's all you need to do. He should done. A, he should do laser one more time okay he's gonna do it now all right let's run it so if you do some kind of a invulnerability it looks like he just cancels his laser part and you have to actually do it again these guys are annoying oh and just like so we have a chance to actually kill it let's go pick up the spark just close enough there you go just like that Pick up another sparks and we got, we need to do one more. So gonna do the same thing again. Should be three lasers Hand, kill the hand and you'll get your spark and the hand. And there you go. So now we're just gonna little cool scene. His hand is gonna explode and you actually don't have to pick it up. This spark, you will just pick it up. It will do it during the scene, which is pretty cool. So, and now we having the third stage, which is the last stage. So, yeah, I thought I said it be earlier. It was two stages. Well, it's actually three. Well, sorry, I lied. But anyway, third stage is way easier. Okay, now I do have my. So the, in the scene, it was a regular color form. Now I have my color form that I actually picked. Pretty simple. Just move away and start the fight. What you need to do, just wait for the laser. Push E. Deflect the laser. He will... You will knock him down. And when he is on that stage, just deal as much damage as you can. And since we are gods, we just can kill it just like so. All right. So I got space, open an attachment, another offer. So it's a third offer already. Let's see what it gives me. It gives me the web, two weapons, actually. One basic legendary and one Gorgonite weapon for my Groove Walker. Uh, well, cancel. And let's see. Dr. Herida in the park. All right. So pretty much just, yeah, again, a few, I guess, uh, story quests to complete. But I'm pretty sure we are, did complete the province. Well, almost. So, we, yeah, we're definitely going to have to finish that little story. Talk to some, N talk to some NPCs. I don't really remember what exactly he's going to talk to me through. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think we're going to use any god forms in training room, I believe. Oh, no, it did. Oh, yeah, it does ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually, yeah, you're going to train for the god, on a god form what to use the certain abilities, I guess. Uh, there is not much you can use. Uh, I tell It's going to tell you to use some of the... You will see it just now. Just let, Let's just do it. As you become a god, you gain a few unique abilities there. Come into all classes. Let's try them. Yeah, let's try them. Okay, push alt. Okay, we're going to have the healing first. There you go. So it's a divine healing. Next one will be the protection one. Divine. Um, I already forgot what it's called. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to get just like so. Boom. Again, pretty simple training. A new god challenge completed. I'll see to go god. And just let's kill him. With one. Okay, that's it. You also have the ultimate ability. And you can switch to the different classes while you're in the god form during the battle. Which is pretty, pretty cool. And yeah, that's all for the training. Just a few abilities here and there. Talk to Flavius. And boom, Laertius' quest completed. We got some costume as well. And let's accept it. Crushed. You can continue to learn about the secrets and mis mysteries of Alien in the Stories tab of the Campaign section. That's I definitely know and that's I probably going to do. And look at that. Already getting 120,000 followers. And the cool thing, the cool thing that when you just became a god or junior god, the trial and invasion mission are the same, which is Cool thing that it's a squad mission. So let's just open the cathedral first time. There you go. There's nothing here in. Yes, we got our temple of deeds. Shut up, Flavis. I know about it. We have three different halls. Hall of knowledge, halls of willpower, halls of war, halls of travels. Travels you need. Oh, wow. They 8,400. So 8,400 victor medals. We only have 4,000, which we're not going to use it for this. We better save it for one of the companion abilities. Um, we're definitely going to focus on the Temple of Deeds that will decrease my faith. Use um, how much faith I used in the missions to go to go God. I believe the Hall of Knowledge focusing mostly on that. I have to. Yes. So definitely going to be Hall of Knowledge first. I would probably go... Hall of Willpower next, and then Hall of War will be the last one. And of course, the travels, when I will have enough Victor Medals, I will definitely unlock that as well. Because the Hall of Travels, it mostly for this when you're soloing. All the damage when you, and re reducing the cost of faith for the missions when you go in solo. Let's leave this one actually part. And what we need to do is return to the Divine Observatory. Okay, receive the quest. So the last bastions, it's all about four divine weapons. We do have the Iana sword. Then we do have Laertes' sword, Metarchus' staff, and Nurian's hammer. So this one, what we need is all of them. We're just going to have to max these bastions as quick as possible and get the Nurian's hammer. Still didn't get my... Oh, no, I did get my box right here. Reward of Philomena's province. Three rare artifacts, 2,000 Argents, 3,000 Spark of Transformation, 1,000 Victor Medals, 1,000 Stimulants. And this costume right here. Which is, yeah, not in my bad guy. An actually cool part that as a new player, you usually get, I don't know how, I don't know when, and but you usually get the Stylist Service Coupon, which is you can... Change your appearance at this Quinta Stylist once for free. It does not include your name, so only the appearance of your character. So that's what I'm going to plan to do a little bit in the future. The so Divine Observatory, let's finish this story. All right, so we also got our adepts available for us as well. Let's see what they usually give you right now. Before the previous update, it was all the randoms, green, blues, adepts you would get. Now we have one blue, we got three greens, we got one purple, okay, Simon, that's pretty good, another blue, and two greens, so one, two, three, four, five greens, two blues, and one purple, so total eight adepts, and the adepts is your, it's your people who brings you back some credits, some adept relics, some faith as well. And of course, they do have stats. Each stat depends, um, responds for different reward, what it brings. But I think we need to send out one. I oh, know, send your adepts on journey. We need to send three. Okay, let's do the three. I'm gonna do this three first. Then equip the adept with a relic. Yes, we can do that. All this little quest. Where is my Simon guy? Let's equip this stuff for him. 
let's see let's accept another relic because not not nothing special charisma we're just gonna increase him really good let's see charisma plus 11 i like that perception seven good constitution a little bit we need to increase that at some point so the stats on adepts also increases kind of over time-ish, but I believe there is a cap. Uh, but usually you mostly bring your the stats to your adepts with um, adept relics. So let's just send them out. That way I believe maybe tomorrow or something like that. We got some, I'm gonna get some faith. Maybe we can go God or something to do a certain mission. We will see. Let's see, go on any squad adventure and assume your divine form. Oh, so this is pretty good. So what they do and actually they do in the squad mission right here. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna join and you do get free amount, specific amount of faith for free to go God once, which is pretty cool. I don't think we're gonna get anything here, but if you click Alt, you have 200 faith for free and only 150 requires so we're definitely gonna go first let's uh let's switch classes to back to the Gru walker and then we'll go god and then we're gonna complete that mission and we actually also have some bastion quest here investigate gorgonite's activity at thunder drilling station let's actually do this while we still have god and since it's a mission we're doing it anyway so just scan this little thing right here it's gonna be a wave of mobster you have to kill that's kind of annoying because it would be nice if they would spawn a little bit faster i mean they kind of spawns fast enough but still and there you go we got the blue box from that as well open why community tab by pressing okay operations so we also open lock the operations the operations is uh, also pain in the ass to do you have the personal progress total progress and then top one reward so if somebody will join my stuff well first of all i have to do the personal progress to get this and then total progress to get this and of course i have to be number one to get top one of course the more people will be here the top top x reward will change so if like there's 20 people here let's say to get these two rewards you need to be top five or top six whatever so top six people which is yeah top six people will get full reward if it's less of course it's going to be top two top three top four whatever and this is the last boss and it's dead so after completing this first invasion and trial mission after becoming a junior god I got these missions again. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's supposed to be like that, but I'll definitely take that. So what I did, I did my use my stimulants to make these two directives are gold directives. That way the reward that I'm getting it will be way better than if it would be a regular directives. Like I said before, the gold directives has either little flag or that little gold circle with symbols spinning around. So obviously the flag is easier to see it. And yeah, so this is what I did, and this is what I'm actually going to run again. But what I'm going to try to do is, if I'll go to the capital right now, and I open Knowledge of uh, Tower. So let's see if I can get my free god right now. There you go. We got it. So you'll have to look just for this item. Catalyst of Faith. If you can get it, and you do have enough Knowledge of Enemies, so don't rush. Don't click too fast. Boom, we got Cal uh, Catalyst of Faith. This means we can talk to the Flavius right here and use it and go God again. So after accepting both rewards from the Invasion tab and Trials or Blocks in Directives, so this finally changed to actual Invasion Missions, which is the Crashed Aircraft. And now it gives me the Oceanite Adesis and the Divine Deeds, which is the part of the catch-up system. Of course, this is right now... Oh man, of course. Connection to the server has been terminated. The operation has timed out. Error code. Blah, blah, blah. All right, let's try this again. So, for some reason I got kicked out of the server. And, uh, looks like the Skyforge doesn't like the actual VPN thingy. So, okay. What I was saying that the Invasion and Trial tabs, it gave me the same missions again. So, I completed just now. 
And this is how the regular directive looks like. It has the arrow up, which you can upgrade. If you click on it, it tells you how much stimulants you need to upgrade it, which I'm not going to do it right now. Cool thing about that the trial mission still stayed Thunder Drilling Station, which is OK, I'll take it and I actually can upgrade this directive as well. So it's three stimulants. I have enough. I can do it. What I'm going to get is uh, it's not going to show me, actually. So it's going to be 100,000 credits, 5,000 knowledge of enemies and one box like this reward for courage. So let's see. I don't need this weapon. We can sell this one right here. Uh, let's see. I don't need this one. I don't need this one. Let's open this box right here. Let's see what we're going to get. We've got Emulant. Gen 29, 28, sorry, good. Okay, critical chance, damage from symbols, uh, not good. Maximum stamina, mm, not good. Ritual killing is no good. Damage to stun targets, okay, that's pretty good. That's definitely needed. Mm. Let's see, we got the ambulance. So we got here, armor fracture, damage to elites. Oh, this is a tough decision. I mean, I can stick with this and bump up my my superiority as well but what we're gonna do we're gonna upgrade this directive right here perfect and what we go into do again go to the capital go into the tower of knowledge and let's see if we can get another god form for free there you go perfect so what we're gonna do i'm just gonna complete that mission got another box another hundred thousand credits five thousand knowledge of enemies so i completed it again and so it looks like what I, I figured it out, what it actually happens to trials right now. The reason why it keeps popping the same missions over and over again, it's because I still didn't complete what they call it equipment tutorial. And meaning of that is this operation Isabella says, says needs to complete the equipment tutorial, which I didn't do it yet in order to actually do the equipment tutorial. You have to complete your invasion atlas quest. And I think after that, I don't know if it's a bug, if it's a uh, intended, I don't know. Um, I can't just simply abuse this shit right here and just keep getting the equipment containers. I can either go both ways. I can either upgrade, which is kind of, you know, expensive. It's already getting six stimulants per upgrade but I can still stick just with this and then just keep doing whatever it gives me for the regular directives. All right, guys. So what's happened that it's still the trial. It's still the same. I didn't do anything for it. So what I've done, I actually tested and I did this quad mission, non God, and it was very simple. It was very easy to do. So definitely the scaling system, the, you know, the scaling mobs against you, it's very fairly right now. So I was completing it for directives, for gold directives, for the squad missions, and I didn't have any problems whatsoever. Yes, the enemy shows still rank 330 for the warm up mission because that's the only we can do. But as a group walker, maybe it's class, maybe it's both class and the scaling system all together. It was very simple to do. So I haven't done the invasion mission yet because this invasion mission, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to do it solo. But for that part, I will need a God form. So I will wait for the next day, see if I can get any, maybe any faith or if I can get the free God from Tower of Knowledge again. And then I can use it towards my invasion missions. For now, I'm not going to do anything with the trials. I mean, I could spam it this a little bit to get those equipment containers. Maybe I'll do it next day. We'll see. So what else I did? I did six region directives and it's finally switched to the Thea region, which in order to do it, you have to complete a hundred percent in Thea whatever the events happen in there, you can do either basic missions there, or if it's the events that happen in like Kyrex or defending the stations, the bases and stuff like that. So you need to complete the entire region to 100% in order to complete these directives. So that's what I'm not going to do it, but I already did six directives before it switched. And so I got only four scientific development project from it, which is pretty good still. Unfortunately for me, it's just for now basic amount of ranks that it gives me, which is max for now five per each token. 
So I have four, it's 20 ranks right there. I didn't use it just for the purpose of the video. I want to see it, you know, how it's going to be. Maybe when my power goes out, uh, goes up, it may be a little bit difficult mission becomes. So I don't know. I have to see it. The first time when I completed some of the directives, I also got the trophy boosters. We're not going to use that yet. For now, we're just going to focus on getting scientific development projects as well as followers for my cathedral. So I didn't get any followers only that one time, 120,000. First time when an invasion and trial were unlocked for me after I became a junior god. And after that, I didn't get anything else. So I uh, and yeah, that's pretty much all. I didn't do any groups uh, missions because uh, kind of don't want to but i mean at some point i'm gonna have to do it uh, because it's already seven gold directives i do have to do that stuff uh let's see the operations i'm still in operation this one guy joined two hours almost two hours to go i have a feeling he might beat me may not i don't know we'll see whatever if he will he will so i'll get only the personal in total progress he'll get the top reward whatever so we didn't do, we didn't spend any Argents as well as credits. So I'm already at 1.2 million credits. So we're definitely going to save up the Argents for now credits as well. And we're also going to save Victor medals. So after all the boxes that I got from the provinces and some directives that I did, I, I am at 5,800 victor medals right now so what we're going to do is we're going to wait for the hall of trophy sale i don't know when it's going to be hopefully this month it will happen that way i can actually buy at least one companion ability so yeah guys i am really surprised that by after doing like what five four or five squad directives non-god it was fairly simple to do so they definitely change either something to scaling system maybe because there is no might on your gear anymore plus maybe class scaling so they kind of adjust all of that and trust me you're not gonna have any problems to do the squad missions whatsoever but if you do have problems well i'm sorry but yeah so that's all i did there were some squad directives some regions i didn't do any groups no pvp i will play invasion solo as a god we'll see how that goes and the plan for the trial since it's still sunday drilling station maybe i'll stick with it maybe i'll just gonna keep running that stuff see if i can get more uh, epic gear i only have two pieces right here we'll see what's gonna happen next in my directives because they will the reward will definitely change at some point in any of the directives we're gonna see what it is Hopefully, it's going to be some items from the ketchup system. If not, that's still okay. We'll still do the directives. As always, if you like this video, please smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe because about 72% people who's watching my videos are not subscribed. So I would really appreciate it. Activate notification as well that you're not going to miss new video I post. Follow me on Twitter. Join my Discord server. All the links in the description. And until the next time, take care.